Hi, and thank you for watching. I'm Craig Fry, the owner of PinPros Plus, and today I'm going to talk about die struck pins. Um, well, I've talked about all the other pins. So hopefully, you've been able to watch all of those other videos to see the unique and different things about them. A picture is worth a thousand words, as I've said in some of the other videos. Uh, and, and this is this is a case in point with die struck. We've talked about <clears throat> die struck, die cast, hard enamel, soft enamel, printed pin, offset printed, photodome. There's so many different terms. There's really two types of pins, enamel pins and printed pins is what I've been saying. However, this might add a little level of confusion. Enamel pins are either die struck or die cast. Remember die cast has the cutout holes. Die struck, you press the design into a sheet of metal and um, to create the design. So die struck, this is die struck. You've created a design, a mold, and you've pressed the design into a, a thin sheet of metal to leave raised levels and recessed levels. So if you look at that pin, you see raised metal and recessed metal. Don't want to get too close. Um, to create a, a die struck pin. Um, they can come in all of the same features, gold, silver, you'll notice this one hasn't been shown, but a copper. All of the finishes that you can think of die struck applies to. You can, you can have all of those options. Now we've got shiny silver, shiny gold, shiny copper, shiny gold. They come in all different shapes. This is a unique one. This is actually a thumb or a push to pin. I like it. And that's all gold. But let me show you the difference. On all of these, in all of these cases, you notice that it's kind of hard to read. I, I've, I've not been shy about telling people that I, I'm not a fan of just <clears throat> die struck pins with no color. Um, it's just hard to read. Now, sometimes it's important and sometimes that's necessary because you might want just a very clean, distinct look. Maybe a bank. I'm thinking of key bank. They have just a little key that they wear on their lapel. All shiny gold. Works perfectly. Um, or if you have a shiny gold and you just have a little bit of words with enamel, that's great. But just shiny on shiny is, is sometimes hard. One of the things that we do to try to get around that, and it doesn't always work so well, but in the recessed areas, so where it's lower, we do what we call sandblasting, which tries to put a texture. So it gives a little texture and contrast to the raised metal to, to be able to tell the difference. What I prefer to do is, is antique. And you can antique copper, you can antique gold, you can antique silver, it all works the same. It darkens the recessed areas and highlights the raised areas to, to allow the details to show. So this is a this is an antique. It flattens or dulls the gold or silver. And so you can see that. And you can see the kind of the dark in the crevices. Wherever it's a tight crevice, the dark will stay more. But that's a good way to help the details to show out, show more. But again, that may not be what you're trying to go for, and that's okay. So really there's not much. There's no enamel going into there. It's just purely the it's the raw metal plated with gold, silver, copper, bronze, or brass. One of those, one of those, and then either putting antiquing on it. That's really all there all there is to it. All the other things apply to die struck pins as, as anything else. The secret in the pin world, when we say die struck, it just means no color. When we say hard enamel, it's a die struck pin with hard enamel paint. When we say soft enamel, it's a die struck pin with soft enamel paint. When we say die cast, we need to clarify. It's either die cast with hard enamel or die cast with soft, with soft enamel. But when you say just die struck, it's, it means all metal. There is no color in it. That's kind of the secret in the, in the industry. We know that it doesn't really matter to our customers because they just wanna get what they wanna get and we help guide, them, guide you to that. So hopefully you've learned something today. All the packaging rules apply. Uh, one, two, three dollar pin, put in a one, two, three dollar piece of packaging, makes a 15, 20, 25 dollar award. These are distinct. These are great for years of service for um, just prestigious awards because it, gold and silver just conveys a message that you don't get when you get a lot of color in a pin. Um, so those are, those are some instances where you may want to use that. 
a velvet box or a plastic box, a backer card. You'll notice this is a die struck pin, but it has enamel in it. So this one happens to be, I'm feeling it, it's a hard enamel pin because it's got a smooth surface, but it's a die struck pin first with hard enamel put into it. And then the velvet pouch. That's a little bit about die struck. Hopefully you've learned something today. Uh, Pin Pros Plus, we try to deliver for you because if we deliver for you, you can deliver to the people you're delivering to. And that makes all the difference in the world. We hope you have a great day. Thanks.